For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. By now you have heard that Palantir will be joining the Nasdaq, which will propel Palantir's stock price even higher. However, once the initial hype of joining a new index cools off, a pullback in its share price will be imminent. As an example, after Palantir Technologies officially joined the Standard & Poor's 500 Index on the 23rd of September, the announcement was met with enthusiasm from investors. This excitement was reflected in the stock price, which has surged by more than 50% since that date, including a notable spike immediately following the national election on the 5th of November. The enthusiasm among investors stems from a belief that inclusion in the Standard & Poor's 500 offers a degree of stability and protection. This perceived floor is attributed to the consistent demand from index funds and other institutional investors required to hold shares of companies included in the index. However, I set out to investigate whether this assumption holds true, and what I discovered was both surprising and potentially significant for Palantir's trajectory in the coming year. Additionally, the analysis may offer valuable insights for investors who fear they've missed the opportunity to invest in this fast-growing artificial intelligence stock. To understand the implications of joining the Standard & Poor's 500, I I analyzed the performance of 14 companies that were added to the index between one and two years ago. The specific time frame of this analysis spans from the 14th of November 2022 to the 14th of November 2023. By tracking their stock prices for the 12 months following their induction, I sought to identify patterns or trends that might support or refute the idea of a price floor. However, the findings painted a different picture. Every one of the 14 stocks analyzed experienced at least one drop below their induction price during their first year. The extent of these declines varied widely among the companies. For example, Fair Isaac, a leader in financial technology, only experienced a modest decline of 1.5% from its induction price. On the other hand, Insulate faced a staggering 58.5% drop, highlighting the variability in performance among new inductees. In total, 11 out of the 14 stocks, equivalent to 79%, saw their prices fall by at least 10% below their induction price during the first year. Even more striking, 7 of these companies, more than half of the cohort, suffered declines of 20% or more. One recent example is Airy Indemnity, a company inducted on the same day as Palantir, which has already fallen over 22% below its induction price. This pattern provides a potential signal to those waiting for a better opportunity to invest in Palantir. Historical data indicates that price corrections are not uncommon after induction into the Standard and Poor's 500. It's important to note that these trends are not unique to the past year. Similar patterns can be observed in previous years, further emphasizing the challenges faced by companies added to the index. For instance, in 2022, the Standard and Poor's 500 as a whole experienced a nearly 20% decline, a downturn that affected the majority of its member companies. Yet within these broad trends, there are exceptions. One one notable outlier is Arch Capital Group, which was added to the index on the 1st of November 2022 and has consistently traded above its induction price since that time. An interesting aspect of this analysis is the apparent lack of a clear pattern to these declines. The companies in question span a wide range of industries, from financial technology to industrial manufacturing. They were inducted into the index at different times throughout the calendar year, and their most significant dips below induction prices occurred at varying intervals, sometimes shortly after induction, and other times several months later. Additionally, traditional valuation metrics such as price to earnings ratios and price to sales ratios failed to provide consistent insights into which companies were likely to underperform. This lack of predictability underscores the difficulty of identifying which new inductees might be most vulnerable to price declines. Despite the challenges faced by most new members of the Standard and Poor's 500, some companies managed to outperform the index within a year of their induction. Of the 14 stocks analyzed, Six achieved this milestone. This group includes Fair Isaac, GE Healthcare, Hubble, Palo Alto, Blackstone, and Axon Enterprise. Notably, the companies that maintained a steady and gradual increase in share price immediately after their induction, such as Fair Isaac and GE Healthcare, were less likely to experience significant declines. Conversely, companies with sharp and uneven price increases, such as Lululemon Athletica and Palo Alto, were more prone to experiencing larger drops. Palantir's volatile growth trajectory since its induction bears a resemblance to the patterns observed in these latter companies, suggesting that it may face similar risks in the months ahead. Given Palantir's current valuation, which is considered high relative to its earnings and its uneven growth pattern, it wouldn't be surprising to see the stock price decline at some point within the next 12 months. 
For investors who are hesitant to buy at current levels, such a drop could present a more attractive entry point. However, in the current market, there are other stocks that may offer a better balance of risk and reward, especially for investors seeking opportunities without the historical challenges associated with Standard & Poor's 500 inclusion. To summarize, Palantir's impressive performance since joining the Standard & Poor's 500 has captured the attention of investors, but historical data suggests that price corrections are a common occurrence for new members of the index. While the long-term outlook for Palantir remains positive, cautious investors might want to wait for a more favorable buying opportunity. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.